Hi, my name is Kenneth Wajda and thanks for watching this photography talk. I'm doing this series of photography talks and I'm glad to have you with me. So today I want to talk about why digital is not free. People always talk to me and they come up to me with, when I, they see me with a film camera and they say, how can you still be shooting film? Film is so expensive. And I say, is it? I can put a roll of film in my camera for $5 a roll of black and white film is four seventy-five, and I get 36 frames from that and I don't shoot them like spray and pray because I compose each one because they matter to me it's film and I'm shooting to preserve something and keep it and then I can process it myself you can use a small tank you can load those tanks in a changing bag like I do and you can load the film into a tank and then I just use two chemicals, developer and a fixer. I just use water in between because I'm not going to save the chemicals. They'll get contaminated quicker if you don't use a stop bath, but water works fine. And for two chemicals, I just mix up what I need. So a very small quantity of developer to water mix, a very small quantity of fixer to water mix. And then I can process the film, hang it, and it's processed for probably a dollar or so. So six dollars to get 36 frames of photographs that hopefully many of them matter and and people say well, digital is completely free and it's like is it i know when i upgrade my computers when i upgrade software when i upgrade hard drives when i shoot a lot and i have to store it i have to upgrade hard drive space when i get new cameras when i want to upgrade because there's always something new coming out Back when I was a photojournalist, I worked at a daily newspaper in New Jersey for 15 years and I used the same cameras the whole time. Because you were always changing the film, you never were changing the camera. Nowadays, with new sensors, you have to constantly upgrade cameras and it's not exactly free to shoot digital. And certainly there's a cost in time. How much is your time worth if you shot 300 or 500 images at a simple event, how much is your time worth to go do that lab work? If you were going to shoot film, you probably wouldn't shoot three to 500 photos. And there is a, a value on time as well as on you know the cost of hard drives or film. So it's an interesting conversation because a lot of people assume photographers can donate time because it's all free and photographers don't have any cost it's all digital and i say i don't see where it's so free and i don't see where film is that expensive that you couldn't shoot a little bit of both certainly film is has a per frame shot rate but it's not an exorbitant amount i even know people who have cameras that they're trying to sell me and it could be like a really great Leica that I just can't afford. And they'll say, you know, we really want to sell it. And I'll say, yeah, I just, I don't have the money to buy it, but it's a great camera. It's in your family. You should keep it. And they'll say, and do what? And I say, get one raw film, one raw of 36 exposures, put that film in the camera and shoot one frame a month only. If you limit it to one frame a month, that roll of $5 film will last you three years. At the end of three years, you will have this time capsule of three years worth of individual photographs that you carefully composed each one once a month. And you get this little surprise waiting for you when you get to go and process it. And you can run it to a local camera store or a mini lab somewhere and not have to do it yourself. But if you wanted to do film developing, it's very inexpensive and you know, even for uh, if you were to shoot a ne uh, negative film and process your own negatives, I sometimes just lay them out across a light table and I photograph them with a digital camera and a macro lens and I can quickly scan them that way. And so none of it has to be difficult and I certainly see a place for both film and digital. Neither one is free, but film is certainly not much more expensive than digital. In fact, I would suspect digital is much more expensive if you are upgrading computers, software, hard drives, and cameras on a frequent basis, like you know, most of the people in my world as pros, we are. So 
That's my take on uh, the cost of digital, and I'd be interested in your comments below. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you don't already, and I'll see you next time.